I'm going to give you, uh, you know, an answer based on EPA, but regardless, whatever state you work in, whatever state that job is in, you want to make sure that you're following the state protocols because they could be stricter than what EPA has on the books, uh, including training. Uh, also, you want to make sure that you are following any local jurisdiction protocols. For instance, you know, New York City, um, you know, they created uh, guidelines for um, responding to mold abatement jobs. And they're pretty encompassing and they were so well done. That's sort of the, the standard of care that we use nationally is what came out of the New York City Health Department. Uh, so to answer the question, according to the EPA, this would likely be classified as type two asbestos work requiring 16 hours of special operations and maintenance training. You would also have to comply with your state's asbestos regulations. There's also OSHA, right? So uh, this two-day OSHA asbestos operations and maintenance initial training course, considered OSHA type, uh, you know, class three work, is designed for custodial and maintenance individuals who perform duties where asbestos containing material is likely to be disturbed. This falls under NESHAP, and, uh, which is an EPA regulation, and EPA has written guidance letters uh, concerning such. So I guess in a nutshell, something to be aware of, if you're gonna be doing work on you know, any building facility, uh, mechanical component, historically where asbestos could be, let's say if you think it was you know, 1980 uh, or, or earlier, right? Give yourself a, a year or so um, buffer. If the employer or the job owner can't guarantee by showing you some kind of due diligent testing that it's not uh, asbestos containing material, you have to assume it is. And whether it's assumed asbestos containing material or you know that it actually is, uh, and you're gonna disturb it, you gotta make sure that you've got the right training to do so. So again, whatever you know, municipality you're working in and whatever state Make sure that you've got the right training uh, from your employer to do that work because it's not going to be good, one, for your health, right? We want to make sure that first you are handling uh, either the potential or, or confirmed asbestos containing material appropriately and that you've got the right PPE, you're using the right containment and control methods for your safety, uh, but also uh, as a public good because, you know, if you have fugitive uh, fibers get released in a building, they're going to be very difficult to clean up. And in fact, I, I've, you know, been on jobs where I've had to come in and do a uh, fugitive emissions testing to see how far uh, contamination spread when it was released in a certain area. And I've seen, you know, some pipe lagging fall off in one mechanical room of a basement and the whole entire basement tested positive for, for fibers. So that whole basement had to be abated. So it's really important that your employer is giving you the correct training to handle uh, either assumed asbestos material or uh, you know, uh, confirmed asbestos material in accordance with local, state, and federal regulations. So that's a really good question.